Are you tired of having a boring old Android home screen? Do you want it to look completely awesome and out of the ordinary? Well then, welcome to my Kota screen. My name is Marco and this is another Android home screen video tutorial. Today's home screen tutorial is on a screen of the day by the one and only Alex T with his home screen Carbona UI. Seeing as the home screen is just UCCWs, it's very easy to set up. You just simply have to go to the Play Store, download the skins, set them up on your phone and there is a completely redesigned home screen. What makes this home screen so amazing is the amount of skins that come with this download from LXT. You get a choice of icons, shortcuts, a music widget, some a, a calendar and dates. It all looks so amazing and it's so well designed. So let's begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so the first thing you want to do is download this amazing UCCW skin package from the Google Play Store. So all you have to do is get into your app drawer or get into your Play Store, whatever way you can. So you just need to search for it. You can search for Carbona and here is the first one that pops up. Now it is going to be a paid app. You are going to have to pay for it. And a lot of people think, well, why do I need to pay for a UCCW skin? Well, the author has put a lot of time and effort into creating such a beautiful skin package. Is about, I don't know, over 20 different skins that you can choose from and add to your home screen. So it is really, really worth it. And it's it's actually really cheap. I mean, the, the amount of different skins that come with it costs about less than a burger. So it is really, really worthwhile to buy this skin package. So all you have to do is download the skin and install it onto your phone. If it comes up with any prompts to say install and add, and you'll install all of the skins onto your phone just like that. Once you've done that, we're gonna get out of the Google Play Store and ready to set up your Apex launcher ready for these skins. Great, so for this home screen setup, we're gonna be using Apex launcher. Nova launcher doesn't work quite as well. There's like some gaps that appear. So if you don't like Apex launcher at all, you're also welcome to use SS launcher as it gives you the exact same result. But for now, I'll be sticking with Apex launcher. Great, so to get into your Apex launcher settings, you can just double tap on the home screen if you haven't changed your gestures and it just brings up your settings like this. And we're just going to be going into your Apex settings. From here, we're going to be going into our home screen settings and into our portrait grid. Now, this is quite important. A lot of people get stuck with this, but a 9x8 works really well for this setup. If you have another phone, these home screen grids might have to differ. But for the Nexus 4, I highly recommend going for a 9x8. Going to be going OK now. Make sure your horizontal and vertical margins are on none. Manage screens, that's all up to you. If you prefer one, two, or three, it doesn't really matter as all these skins can apply to each one of your pages. It makes your screen really customizable. Your transition effect doesn't really matter. Your wallpaper mode, I just left it as non-scrolling, but you're welcome to use it as scrolling. But just remember, it might eat up some of your battery. And finally, we get to the juicy bits. You want to not disable the notification bar at the top. You want it to be enabled as the skins might not fit well and you want to hide your icon labels now this is very important it caught me out so remember to hide icon labels as otherwise the skins are going to look really really weird great once your home screen settings have been set up we're just going to go back now and into our dock settings and you want to scroll down and you want to enable hide dock so the dock is going to at the bottom is going to be hidden Great, so once your dock settings are complete, you want to go back now, you want to go into your advanced settings. Now this might not apply to you, but if you ever get in the trouble or in the position where a skin is not fitting properly, then you want to enable overlapping widgets. That just enables you to overlap each one of your UCCW skins. You're also going to be needing Apex Launcher Pro for this, but try it without. If you manage to do it without overlapping widgets, then good for you. You don't need your Pro version for Apex. But this may be needed in case you're using a phone that's not a Nexus 4. Great, so that is our Apex launcher settings complete. We're just going to go back now. We're going to next be moving on to our wallpaper setup. Great, so setting up a wallpaper in Apex is really, really easy. You just want to hold down on the home screen, go into wallpapers. You can use your preferred app here. You can either use your gallery or even quick pick whatever floats your boat. So say so if we just go into gallery and just find one that looks really good, you can either go for a cool leafy background or whatever background you want as these UCCW skins fit any wallpaper as long as it's got some brightness at the back if you want to be using some transparency. So from here, we're going to click save. It's going to set your wallpaper and there is your wallpaper set up like that. Next, we're going to be moving on to the most important, our UCCW skins. Great, so adding in a UCCW skin is really, really simple, especially if it's been purchased from the Play Store. So the first thing you want to do is to get into your app drawer, go into UCCW if you haven't installed it already. It's a free app and it's really quite amazing. 
from here you want to go select lock widgets and make sure that it's off why do you say lock widgets off well that enables you to change certain colors and options or hops hotspots for those uccw skins that you have added next what you want to do is to drag and get rid of any apps or widgets that you have on your home screen just by holding down and dragging them into the x at the top once that's done you're ready to be adding in some uccw skins to do that when i just hold down on the home screen select widgets scroll all the way down to uccw and it doesn't really matter what size you choose for each one of the skins that you'll be importing as you can always resize it using uccw and it's really quite simple so let's go for four by four and as you can see these are all the carbona ui skins that you now have on your phone so say you want to add in the clock it comes with two variants a transparent one and a non-transparent one it's got that cool green effect so let's select the transparent one and then select the hand and this brings up your uccw skin you want to drag it into the corner more or less there and then you want to hold down on it and select resize this will allow you to resize that uccw skin getting it to look quite amazing there in the corner if we want to add in another one say the agenda you just want to hold down select widgets go into uccw let's go for a longer one say a one by five it doesn't really matter again you can always resize them and let's select next event great so remember we turned off lock widgets in the uccw options well now you're going to see why when we select the skin it brings up the uccw editor what this allows you to do is change a variety of options that the author has provided for you to change as you can see you can change any one of these colors so say if you don't want these bright green colors you want to change it to something else just by simply tapping the color and say changing it you can change this color slider and this changes the hue and the brightness to change it to pretty much anything you want say you want a bright blue and just selecting ok will change it for you so that is the colors that you can change but you can also change the hotspots and what hotspots are is once you tap this area of the skin it brings up a certain app or shortcut that you would want it to open so as it's shown it's going to be opening up your calendar as well as adding a calendar event but now to change that you just have to select it select app and you can change it to any app that you would want it's very simple to do and say if you want to change in a uccw shortcut selecting uccw will say update the weather the dialer launch alarm whatever you want really simple to do now you can do this to any one of the skins that have been provided and once you've got them to the way you want it you just want to go options lock widgets on so this will turn on the hotspots mode allowing you to say open up the calendar just by tapping it will open up your calendar as well as tapping to add an event will immediately bring up the option to add an event and this comes with all the different skins available you can open up your clock pretty much any option that you would want great and there is your home screen pretty much set up all you have to do now is start adding in each one of the skins if you scroll across now you can see all of them have been added a few things to take note of is first of all your gmail skin that you have added it's going to say something funky it's going to say a whole lot of gmail account has to be added or something like that remember to make sure that your lock widgets is off open up the editor in the options it will come up with a gmail account select your account as well as the label and this will show you how much mail has come in another thing to take note of is this music music widget over here it is the now playing widget once you've downloaded it from the play store you're going to be holding down selecting resize and then this is quite important you want to drag it over the skin and not just place try and drag it onto the top as it's going to pretty much rearrange all of these and as you can see it's quite easy to create quite an amazing home screen just by adding in a few uccw skins and you still get that great functionality such as an app draw your agenda your weather it's quite amazing so thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing